le passé surcomposé. Ok, so, le passé surcomposé, and we start right now. So in this video, first we will see l'utilisation of le passé surcomposé, and then after that we will see la formation. Ok, so first, when do we use, so l'utilisation, and then la formation, how do we construct this passé surcomposé. Ok, so we can start now with l'utilisation. So keep in mind that we will use le passé surcomposé pour exprimer des faits qui se sont passés avant d'autres faits passés exprimés au passé composé. So it may look a bit difficult that way, but then let's say that you want to express something in the past, and normally you will use this passé composé form that we've been using and we've been seeing previously. Okay? But then if you want to express some facts that have been happening before these past events, in that case, well, you will use or you should use le passé surcomposé. Well, in, actually, it's not really the case because we've been seeing that we've got this plus que parfait tense, okay? And to be totally honest, yes, the second thing here, this passé surcomposé is nowadays quite rare. So, utilisation assez rare, ok? But then keep in mind that l'utilisation est plus fréquente dans le sud de la France. So if you travel, if you go in the south of France, then they will tend to use it a bit more often. But it is quite rare nowadays because people tend to use this plus que parfait instead of le passé surcomposé. Ok? But anyway, it does exist. Uh, it is used, ok? So we will see in this video how to make it. Alright? So Let's see the timeline. And then let's imagine that this is the present. Okay, so this is now. And then we want to express something in the past. So we will use le passé surcomposé. Sorry, le passé composé here. Okay, and then if you want to, as I said, express something that happened before this passé composé. So it's le passé surcomposé. Okay, so the present, le présent, and then the past, le passé composé, and even before, le passé surcomposé. Okay, so here is an example. Dès qu'il a eu bu son café, il est parti au travail. Okay, so it's a strange sentence maybe, but then let's have a look at it. And the first thing that we should spot here is this a u bu. And then the second thing is a parti. Okay, so the first thing that we can see here, this a u bu, okay, it's actually this passé surcomposé form. And then the second form here is the passé composé. Okay, so dès qu'il a eu bu son café, so this thing has been happening before, so he has been drinking his coffee, then, okay, something that happens after, but it's still in the past, okay, il est parti au travail. Okay, so the first event, okay, au passé surcomposé, and the second event here, au passé composé. So let's see how to make this passé surcomposé. Few examples first. So, first sentence: J'ai mangé au restaurant. It's le passé composé. Okay, as we saw, you use whether avoir or être. Okay, in most of the cases, you will use avoir. You put that at the present form, and then after that, you put this form that we call participe passé. Okay, so this is here le passé composé. Okay, so if you want to make le passé surcomposé, so it's an example here. J'ai eu mangé au restaurant. So you can see that the difference between the two, actually this manger form, so the participe passé, this past participle, doesn't change. So no changes here. Okay, but this is this first part that will change. So if you can notice, in that case here, you get avoir, and it's at the present form. And if you look carefully here, 
you've got avoir at the passé composé form. Okay, let's take a second example here. Tu as regardé la télévision. Okay, so exactly the same concept. The first sentence here is at the passé composé. So you get this avoir at the present tense and then you get here the participe passé. Tu as regardé la télévision. I've got some problems with my mouse. Sorry. And then the second sentence. Tu as eu regardé la télévision. Okay. So we can see that it's exactly the same situation. We've got this regarder form, and it's exactly the same, so you don't really need to bother about that. And it's the first part that will change, okay? Because here, for the passé composé, you've got this verb avoir at the present, and here, for this passé surcomposé, well, actually, you've got avoir at the passé composé form, okay? And it will be exactly the same thing in the last example, but then I wanted to take a verb, so aller, that will require être, you know, at the passé composé. Okay, so il est allé au travail. Okay, and in that case, remember exactly the same thing. So you put être instead of avoir, because that is one of the these uh, exceptions that will require être to make the passé composé. It is here at the present form. And here, for this passé surcomposé, well, we will see exactly the same thing. We've got aller here, so the participe passé doesn't change. And then this first part here, well, actually, it will be the verb être at the passé composé form. Okay? So, I hope it's clear. I know it's a bit difficult at the beginning, but then keep in mind that the way to make this passé composé, it's actually quite simple. So first, you will use this avoir, okay, in most of the cases, of course, and then this avoir should be at the passé composé. Then you will put, as we saw, this participe passé form, and you will get your passé surcomposé. Remember, in some cases, as we saw for aller, you will use être, but still, it's exactly the same concept. Être should be at the passé composé form. Then you will put your participe passé, so exactly the same concept, and you will get your passé surcomposé form. Okay? So, let's see the exceptions. So, we saw that we've got aller. We do have arriver. So, aller is to go, arriver, arrive. Descendre, descend, or go down. Devenir, to become. Entrer, to come in, or to enter. Monter, to go up. Mourir, to die. Naître, to born, or be born. Partir, to leave. Rester, to stay. Retourner, to return or to come back. Sortir, to go out. Tomber, to fall. And then, venir, to come. Okay, so remember that all these verbs will require être. Okay, and obviously some verbs will be constructed based on these verbs. Okay, so uh, logically they will also require the verb être. Okay? Remember also that, uh, well, the verb, as we say, les verbes pronominaux, okay? So the verb that will be constructed with this se in front of them, se regarder, or then it could be s apostrophe if you had a, a vowel, s'appeler, se présenter. So all these verbs, les verbes pronominaux, will also require être for this passé surcomposé form. Okay? So let's see now and let's try to refresh a little bit um, avoir and être at the passé composé because that's the part that we will we'll need to use when we construct this passé surcomposé. So avoir at the passé composé goes like that. J'ai eu. 
tu as eu il on then l <coughs> or on even a u nous avons eu vous avez eu ils ont eu elles ont eu okay so it will be our first part of this passé composé uh, sorry passé surcomposé and then the second part will be être so in some cases as we saw previously and être goes like that j'ai été tu as été il elle or then on a été nous avons été vous avez été ils ont été elles ont été okay so same thing here so it will be our first part uh, for the exceptions that we saw uh, previously. Remember that the second part, so we talked about this participe passé form, well actually it will be quite simple for the regular verbs, so the first group of regular verbs is the, well, or is the group that will include all the verbs ending with a er, exception is aller as we saw, but then it's actually quite simple. Have a look at that. You've got the infinitive form here ending with a er. Okay, so this is the basic form of the verb. Okay, you just take this a er away and you will replace it with a accent aigu. And here you get this participe passé form. So parler will become parler. Phonetically it's the same, but then you write it differently. Regarder will become regarder. Okay, same rule. And then aller will become aller. So even if aller doesn't belong to the f this first group of regular verbs, actually when we talk about the construction of this participe passé form, well, it's quite regular as well, so nothing tricky there. The second group, okay, remember, the verbs ending with er, okay, but not all of them, because it's a common mistake, not all of them are following these rules, because we've got another group of er, er verbs that will belong to the third group, so irregular verbs, but I mean this actually we're talking in that case about the regular verbs ending with er, okay? And it will be quite simple as well because have a look, you've got the basic form here, choisir, er, okay? And then you just take it away and you replace it with i. So you will get, so choisir will become choisi. Then finir will become fini, unir will become uni. All right. So it's not really difficult. So if we're talking about the regular verbs from the first group here and the second group here, they are quite easy to make if we talk about uh, this participe passé form. Okay. So let's see now the third group. Few exceptions, few categories and subcategories. So, but then connaître will become connu. Okay, voir will become vu, partir, even if it belongs to the third group, well, it's actually quite simple, it will become parti, rire will become ri, écrire will become écrit, dire will become dit, mettre will become mi, prendre will become pris. Okay? So let's see few examples or we'll take that the verb parler so a quite regular verb and we'll put that at the passé surcomposé okay so remember we had the first part here so avoir at the passé composé so we've been saying that and then the second part this participe passé you just put it here j'ai eu parlé tu as eu parlé il elle on a eu parlé nous avons eu parlé. Vous avez eu parlé. Ils ont eu parlé. Elles ont eu parlé. Okay? And you can see that as we are constructing this passé surcomposé form with avoir, in all the cases, we will keep this a uh, accent aigu here. So we don't put any mark for the feminine or for the plural here, okay? So it will be all the time a here. But then 
Remember that it will behave exactly the same way as all the compound tenses if you use a verb like aller, for instance, that will require être and not avoir. So in that case, you will have to put, like here, the feminine form at the end of your participe passé. So remember that a uh, is the mark of the feminine. Okay, so il a été allé, but then you don't put anything because it's the masculine, so you should put the basic form. In that case, you get L, okay, and then, well, it's a feminine, singular feminine, you should put this E uh, at the end of your participe passé. Phonetically, you don't hear it. It goes like aller, so exactly the same thing as here, or the same way. So, elle a été allée. So if we respect the logic, then for the masculine plural, we should add at the end this S. So S is the mark of the, of the plural, okay? So ils ont été allés. And then logically as well, if we put the feminine and the plural form, so L. So first we will add a mark of the feminine, then S mark of the plural and you will get elles ont été allées. So the good news is that phonetically it's aller here, aller, aller, aller. So it's the same. You don't pronounce this uh, final e, uh, you don't pronounce this final s here. Okay, so it's, it's exactly the same, but keep in mind that if you want to write correctly, you should put them. So if we put the full form, j'ai été allé, okay, with the option of the feminine. Tu as été allé, option of the feminine as well. Il a été allé, so in that case, it's the masculine form. Elle a été allé, and here it's the feminine form. Nous avons été allé, so you put the plural at the, at the end. Vous avez été allé. Ils ont été allés, okay, and in that case you've got the plural only, so masculine because you, you don't have anything else, and then elles ont été allés, here you've got the feminine plural, so e uh, and s. So let's remember how to construct this passé, surcomposé, well actually the first part and in almost all the cases it will be avoir, okay, and avoir should be at the passé composé form. Then you will put your participe passé form as usual for all these compound tenses in French. So, and you will get this passé surcomposé. Okay, in some cases, as we saw, we can use être, okay, but then the rules stay the same, so it should be at the passé composé. Then you will put your participe passé form and you will get your passé surcomposé. Okay, so keep in mind that it is quite rare nowadays. Uh, I mean, to be really honest, it is quite rare, but still, that's the way it works. And then if you read, if you hear any passé surcomposé, well, you will know what they are. Okay?